this is the second part of numerical data presentation for ungrouped data in this video we will discuss the four types of measures of dispersion or MD let us start with the first one which is the range the range is simply given by the difference between maximum value and the minimum value maximum minus minimum based on our data set let us determine our maximum value which is 40.2 and the minimum value is 25.4 Hence, the range is simply 14.8 minutes. Next, let us compute variance. You can refer to page 17 for the formula. Variance is given by S squared. And S squared is equal to summation of x squared minus summation of x everything will be squared and then divide by n minus n and divide by n minus 1 so let us substitute information needed in order for us to compute variance in this table, I prepare for you the x data values and the third column is simply the square of corresponding x value. For example, 912.04 is obtained by taking 30.2 squared. The last row is referring to the summation of all x values. While this value represents the summation of all x squared. So with information in hand, let us substitute into our formula. So the first term is 7632.35 The second term 227.5 squared divided by n number of data values which is 7 and everything will be divided by 7 minus 1 which is 6 so if you simplify you will obtain 39.77 so this is variance for your data set now let us take a look at the standard deviation the notation for standard deviation is s where s is simply the square root of s squared. Hence, with information about s squared or the variant, we simply substitute here. Therefore, the standard deviation is given by 6.31 minutes. As you can see in this writing, I did not write the unit for variant. Why do you think so? You can discuss with your lecturer during your class. Next, let us move to the last MD which is the interquartile range. Interquartile range is simply the difference between the first, sorry, the third quartile 
minus the first quartile. I will go back to interquartile range when we discuss third quartile and first quartile in our third video. So we will go back to interquartile range or we can write it as IQR in the third part of this video. Thank you.